So excited to see what uh, what's been going on with this park. There's a lot of cool stuff happened in the last couple of weeks. A lot of cool stuff. Let's start over. No. <laughs> I'm I'm not good at this. I'll do it again. Or from the yeah, very beginning. From the All right. Three, two, one. Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Aluna Wood. Episode seventeen. Isn't that exciting? That's exciting. <laughs> <laughs> Three, two, one. Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Aluna Wood. It's episode seventeen. I'm always here. Ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> I'm always here. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Luna Wood. I'm HBK, and we're back with episode 17. Yeah, 17. Never thought we'd make it here, but here we are. Anyway, I'm with my homeboys. You guys want to introduce yourselves? <laughs> Hey everybody, I'm Beyond Drew TV. You know me because this is my channel. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> we got two other guys that we're here with today. Uh, this is Fisherman. And does this make Jake's man? Yeah. They're all four of us. But we're down a man because Mr. S. Dan Wolf decided to take a break and go to Dollywood. What a jerk. Yeah, we're a little <laughs> jealous. <laughs> <laughs> He's out there for um, a press day, actually. They're uh, unveiling Wildwood Grove at Dollywood. And um, if you follow S. Dan Wolf's uh, YouTube channel, you know that he gets uh, media access and press access. So he's out there um, hanging out with Dolly Parton and being on the Today Show and like just, just being a celebrity, basically. So And getting to ride that new Vacoma SLC. <laughs> yes, that thing looks so cool. We were talking about that before recording, how sick that thing looks. Technically, it's not an SLC because there are no loops, right? Well, that's true. It's, so it's a standard yeah, yeah. standard good coaster. Good call. <laughs> it's just an SC. <laughs> it's just yeah. a standard coaster. <laughs> <laughs> good How call. So. so, on with the build. We got some really cool, exciting stuff to show you guys. A lot of progress got done. And uh, a lot of good progress got done, so... Drew, if you want to meander us to somewhere the work got done. And we're there. <laughs> <laughs> Remember? We're in, we're in the action zone, and mate, um, I know it's not a lot, but um, oh, yeah, in that's the right. action zone, yeah, mate uh, took it upon himself to redo the, uh, the, like the flooring or the asphalt and added in some little detail work around the, uh, the action zone here. So, mate, if you'd like to walk us through all the stuff you did yeah, there. Yeah, um... I think the best view you get from above. <laughs> so you see, um, I um, changed the floor to the new pavement. Oh, what means new? It's basically a year old now, but uh, the pavement um, pieces because they yeah. have a better texture. And when I deleted um, all the old floor, I accidentally deleted, I think, Scorpion's Q, so I had to do it twice. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Rip Scorpion's original skew cue. Yeah, and I'm um, I added some more shade to the skizzer um cue. Those little purple shades. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Things. Mm -hmm. And I added those two planters. And the third one is um, not finished yet. Yeah, still still working on that one. And I know, HPK, you're not the biggest fan of the building side, but I think it's cool. So, <laughs> Well, it's not that I don't like it because it's a cool detail, it is. But I just feel like, personally, that's something that they would do in the off-season and it wouldn't be in the middle of construction while there's guests around. That's just my opinion, but I was outvoted, so it stays. <laughs> and he's not salty about it at all. I'm not. <laughs> I know. I'm just kidding. I'm messing with you. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, no, I like all the, uh, especially the new. Um, this is from the studios pack, right? The, yes. Uh, the flooring. Yeah, that that added in a lot more um, uh, texture and stuff to the area. So that's really really good with the color changes and stuff as well. Yeah, yeah I think the, it looks uh... best from from P view. So you really see the um, the the better textures. We'll come down here and walk and, around. And it's not there. reflecting that much like the other yes. pieces. For, uh, for those of you who are newer to the series, the Action Zone uh, originally was built with the, uh, 
the cement uh, roof pieces as the ground so there was real no texture to it uh, you can't repaint the rough concrete so you have to use the smooth yeah. concrete to get the asphalt color uh, but now with the studios pack we got the pavement and it's something that me and Drew have always talked about doing but we just never did uh, mate took it yeah, upon himself to go and take care of it for us how nice of him yeah. <laughs> and can I, I mean, just say, I love that you yeah. added in this, these these small itty bitty trees because it's like the entire area, there's no trees whatsoever in the entire area. And it's just like, here you go, here's these two small trees that provide no shade coverage at all, basically. So it's just, it's I just mean, funny to me. The left one of them is um, growing. They have, how do you call it? Um, the little cage around the. Around oh, the yeah, tree. the tree planter. Yeah. 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 But I forgot it on the right one, so it basically uh, grew everywhere yeah yeah oh, whoops so, awesome good stuff also if you want to take a peek into the arcade I changed it up a little bit we got some I don't even remember whose arcades they are but <laughs> oh, there you go it's still uh, nice. ruble trillions ski balls there uh, ski ball oh, lanes yeah. but we got some new arcades that we don't have to worry about the images loading or not loading anymore. Okay. Nice. And, Those are good. and I think when we got the vintage pack, I put the the claw machines in, but I, I think I did it too quick and I never connected them to the path. Now they're connected <laughs> to the path, so. <laughs> okay, sounds good. <laughs> so. Cool. Well, um, mate, do you want anything else to talk about in here, or do you want to move on to the next uh, area? I don't think there's much more to see in the action zone. Perfect. Okay, cool. Well, I'll go ahead and move on to the next area. And we're back. So, we got this real cool building right in front of us, for those who don't know, because maybe you guys have seen it when Drew has streamed it a little bit, but we've had this building here for quite a while. It was originally supposed to go in the car ride, but it just didn't fit. We've been trying to find a home for it, trying to find a home for it. Finally, Mate found a home for it. You want to talk a little bit about it, Mate? Yeah, sure. So um, when I started building, I asked what I should do after the action zone and you mentioned um, I could take this little um, place between something, um, what is coming later and the uh, food court there. And if I want to, I could um, use Drew's building and I saw the building and it screamed wolf to me. So I um, built a little wolfy area. So we have nice. on, on the right side, um, right behind the wall sign, a little um, man-made um, like a river thing, just for the views. Nice, nice. You got the piping and everything. Yeah. yeah I mean, as cheap as it gets, but it's a small river. Hey, it works, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and in game, this is the River Rapids ride, correct? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Just so, if anyone didn't know that trick, you just put down the river rapids. It looks like a really cool river system. So, yeah, and then you can go underneath your own building too, and you get a really cool view of the Skyride Station. Nice. Which I love this station, by the way. I love this whole area. Yeah. Well, thanks, guys. That's so nice. If we finally make it. <laughs> yeah, no, this whole so, area, like, I'm, yep. Yeah, basically, I um, was looking up for some wolf buildings, but I didn't really find something I liked, so I built it from my head, and I started with the little mill on the right, and on my first try, I had, like, a um, uh, rebuild of the mill, I think it's from Silver Dollar City. I don't know, I sh showed you a picture uh, in the Discord, but yeah, I lost it all in a crash and I redid, redid it from scratch. So this is all from my brain. 
Oh yeah. This oh, why are there two um, hooks? They're supposed only to be one. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? I thought that was on purpose. Nice. No, that's not on purpose. Okay. <laughs> nice. Well, we can fix that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that that's easy fix. But um, no, I I mentioned it in the uh, in the group chat and everything. But I love your use of um, a lot of materials. You know, you have the old. Um, old stone and everything with yeah. the wood and just yeah all the different materials working together really really well I, this whole area is yeah. amazing <laughs> well you told me not to do embedded windows custom walls custom roofs so i thought <laughs> to get a little uh, much more a little bit more detail i had to um, use different materials <laughs> and use the um, different roof lines to make it look more um, interesting yeah. Sure. Oh, you knocked it out of the park, man. Yeah, yeah no it doubt. looks really no good. Doubt. So, and, and then kind of like you said, uh, oh, go ahead. And yeah, on the left there's a state. I wanted to make a restaurant, but I, uh, I didn't do it. <laughs> I was just going <laughs> out on the wall. No, you did a lot. So, oh, yeah. like you said, you have. It's a good like starting off point either for yourself later, or maybe yeah. you know, if someone else wants to. Um, take on the building so yeah i mean i'm not finished yet i have the little lanterns there and right. so, some of you might um think they look a bit new compared to the wharf area but it is on purpose because on the right side if we slowly turn around very slowly <laughs> <laughs> it's a secret <laughs> we have a little bridge yeah. Or tunnel, whatever, with the retaining walls of the planters, and this is leading to a future area. And when they um, built this bridge and the planters, they thought, okay, let's um, reuse some of the materials and redo the old planters they had on the wharf. So right, it kind of matches there, and they put a, an old boat in an old. Um, how do you call it? The anchor. Anchor. Anchor, anchor yeah. <laughs> My bad. No problem. Um, yeah, they put it there. And <laughs> they have a little story, but I can't really read the sign, so I don't know the story. <laughs> oh, here. I'll get closer. It's a little bit far away. Let me get closer for you. That's what it says. Yeah, something, something. <laughs> oh, something. yeah. Oh, yeah. Remember? <laughs> yeah, so. Um, but it's, but yeah, I remember. It's I had, Fisherman's uh, awesome Wistar points with the sign, so. <laughs> I had yeah, to remove them. That's going to be the hardest working piece in the park now oh, yeah. that he the made plan. that. It's, and it's only it's two so pieces. Good. Right, it's so good. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, I like I love that explanation he had for the because that was actually the very first thing um, that I, I told him because he had, uh, mate had sent pictures into us and I was like, you know, those um, those planters are really cool, but maybe use like you know maybe the really thick spooky um, beams or something like that. And he's like, yeah, I thought of that, but. You know, and then basically the story he just told about the new material. So that's a really cool um, lore and story with this whole area here. So good job. Very good job. Yeah, we're going to say you. when we get to it that there was some building here or a ride here that they removed to make the entrance go underneath the backstage road. Because that's what that is, yeah. a backstage road that goes to uh, a newer expansion that we'll eventually get to somewhere down the road. Yeah, this is uh, this is where the true jank of the park starts to come together. This is where the unplanned areas are coming in. So uh, yeah, this is it's it's gonna get fun after this point. <laughs> yeah, this just about on this west side here of Luna Wood American Adventure is just about done. We just got a few more odds and ends to uh, to figure out and finish over here and develop, and then we move to the right, the east side. Yep. Yeah. And the American so. Adventure is almost done. So, been a few months coming. Yeah. But it's almost done. <laughs> so, um, well, yeah, mate. Same thing as last time. Uh, anything else you want to talk about with the uh, wharf area? I here? got one thing. Yeah, we yeah. have gutters. We, oh, we have oh. gutters. <laughs> I see. <them. laughs> we have look gutters. At, look at the, look at those sexy beasts. <laughs> <laughs> and it's not that much pieces, to be honest. It's like ten pieces or twelve pieces each. Yeah, those are the right. really, really tall signs, and then the uh, the little pieces it's are the the, the fire that was the, the Roman candles. I think it's um, 
light poles and the fire candles and the little yes. hook for the right down yeah. here. Yeah, the, those little Oops. hooks or whatever. Yeah, right. Those are that's great. That's fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I wish we could um, paint the little um, sign on the fire candles. Roman candles. Yeah, and the Roman candles. Yeah, oh, this little back sign to, right there. I hate to um, turn them around all the time. But yeah, it is, it is what it is. You gotta, yeah. Yeah, we gotta use what we can, I'm, what we're getting. I mean, we gotta, they're not some... meant to use like that. We used like that. And sometimes you just gotta realize it is a video game, and you gotta, as yeah. as realistic as we try to be, sometimes you just gotta, you know, let some things go. Yeah. Yep. Yep. No problem. So, yeah, uh, I, I love this area. Yeah. I can't keep harping on it enough. This is one of my favorite areas of the park now. So. <laughs> and uh, it looks really good at night, but we'll come back around and we'll show everything off at night again, at the end yeah. of the episode. Yeah. So. But, um, but yeah, unless there's anything else, I'm going to go ahead and start walking my way towards the, uh, the last thing that we have to show off, which is... Not that in the back um, there. No. <laughs> yeah, that, that oh, that's it, that? right there. Awesome. <laughs> so, but we'll start making our way around, and actually I'll just kind of start showing it off. But yeah, we have the invert kind of uh, done. Batman, but not after. Batman. Batman, not Batman is done. <laughs> So you kind of get a little bit of views here, and this whole area that we're coming at, or looking at now was done by myself. Um, so I, I took about a week, a uh, little, little over a week, and uh, I built up this whole area that we're looking at here. And then uh, Mate took the park for about the uh, another week there. So that's why we have two builds going on today. So actually, um, but yeah, little bit of a secret. Drew started this before the Main Street build a little bit. <laughs> I did. <laughs> I did, yeah. I've been working on this area off and on for a few months here, but it finally kind of all came together in the last uh, week or week and a half here. So um, we're kind of starting in the what I consider the back half of the build um, first. So we're kind of going backwards to forwards, but that's fine. Um, so yeah, the first thing we have here is this little sweets building, which is literally Fisherman's sweets building from his American Adventure build, just kind of thrown over here and repurposed so. i thought that looked familiar <laughs> yeah that's, i love that building dude when i first saw it i was like dang that's gonna be another one that's gonna be spread around a whole bunch yeah it's such a good multi-use building and not only that it's it's like it screams theme park it really does seriously yeah. yes, even like absolutely. great adventure has like all these really small like one window qsrs like every so often and right they all look the right. same but they all sell different things and you know that that that's it. That's that building. Yep. Yep. So yeah, I took that and just made another little uh, eating area over here. So that's real quick. And then the next thing we have is our Condor ride from the Classic Rides collection here. Yeah. So. Classic Rides all in last episode and this episode. Yeah, we're cramming them in. So nothing really too special about this. Um, here's another one of our. Um, planet coaster symbols and if you've been following this series since you know basically day one um you know that we've we have this as well in the chair swing area and this is kind of our um what do we say like our group like finding area or like group meetup yeah like, areas it's like basically like if you come with a big party and you can split up and be like okay we'll we'll meet at we'll meet under this sign at 12 o'clock you know where you're going and you know where you're meeting up and and it's it's right. lit up at night, and the Planet Coaster sign is just a placeholder. We want to make a Luna Wood sign. We just haven't got around to it yet. Yep, it's on the checklist. That's pages long. At this I think point, there's so. one over by the car ride too. <laughs> there you go. So yeah, so again, there's like little meetup or designated meetup areas for the park there. So figured that would be a good area for that too. So, um, but oh hey, you named it. Cool, because I didn't name it before. So Rising Raptor is the name of. Uh, well, it's the in-game name of the ride. Right. <laughs> oh, is it? Yeah. <laughs> that's so clever. I no so I, I just <laughs> how'd you? That's that's you know if you want to call it something else, we can call it something else. It was I didn't want to name it without I... talking to anybody. <laughs> it's that's better than what I named it, which was literally nothing. So <laughs> well, I didn't name it anything. It came with that name. <laughs> <laughs> we're so clever yeah. <laughs> so i didn't again we, i didn't uh, really want to call it raptor because they don't look their the 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 rides are birds not raptors
Yeah, that's why they're called Condor in like the real world. So we can just call it. Do you call it Rising it's Condor? Called... I well, we, I I like the double R, like the Rising Raptor or whatever. Like that kind of like it I rolls gotcha. off the tongue, but. I got you. I, got I mean, you. if we like climbing, climbing uh, condor, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Flying squirrels. <laughs> Flying squirrels. <laughs> Perfect. Sugar so, gliders. That's what they're called. Yeah, I learned but, that from the discovery. Dude, channel. I totally <laughs> dig that little entrance that you built there, where I put the sign on top of, like the uh, the stepping oh, the, the stepping concrete. stone concrete. Yeah. Yeah. I dig that, man. Yeah. That was- Nice and simple. Mm-hmm. And again, I was gonna say like we're not gonna go through the queue because it's literally like there's there's a cattle pen area and then it just goes up to the ride. But, I love these lamps. Um, the really lamps cool. are cool. Yeah. Yeah, nice and again, there's like three pieces to them, you know, kind of like the simpler the better, better kind of thing. So. And I just I like them know. because they 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 fit with the area around the invert too because they're a little bit more modern looking but a little bit more like janky looking. If that makes sense. Right. Right. Yep. And um, yeah, like you said, it does go with the invert area a lot. And speaking of the invert area, kind of turning myself around here. And yeah, here we are in the actual invert area. And um, what we, or what I've went ahead and themed it to, we actually did give it a little bit of a budget, a little bit of a theme is um, this is like a junkyard area. Um, so it's like a junkyard with like a little town outside of it. And, um, the name of the coaster is, oh shit, dun, dun, it? dun. It's not Batman. Shredder. Not, not Batman. Bat- Scorcher. Scorcher. Shredder. No. No. Shredder. Yes. Sorry. <laughs> this thing's gone through like <laughs> 17 different iterations. Yeah. It's called Shredder. So, um. Yeah. Tell us about the, the story because the... there's a story with the ride. Yeah, so like I said, we we gave this coaster like a very little budget for theming, and um, like I said, we called it Shredder. And the story is that uh, Shredder was like a really um, fast, a really important like race car back in like the uh, '50s and '60s kind of thing, um, like the most popular race car kind of thing. And then as time went on, it kind of got forgotten and left behind as like uh, racing and stuff got more evolved or whatever have you. Um, so yeah, until eventually Shredder ended up in this junkyard that you kind of go through the and we'll walk through the queue because there's a lot of little details um but yeah you basically um shredder ended up in this junkyard and you as the guest have an opportunity to you know ride in shredder one last time before it's like sent on its its uh, way and like getting crushed or yeah, something compacted. like that you know it's getting, <laughs> yeah yeah basically it's done so you get to ride on the thing one last time and that's what the invert is the ride on shredder so um, but yeah and then like I said, the uh, the outside area, there's just a few buildings on the outside, and the whole thing is just kind of uh, themed to this kind of real rusty, janky, junkyardy kind of feel. So we have the recycle bin, which is your gift shop there. Um, no interiors, because this is, this is Luna Wood. Who does interiors in <laughs> Luna clever, Wood? Clever, <laughs> clever name for, for a gift shop, too. Especially yes. themed to a junkyard. Exactly, exactly. I think you came up with that, actually, to be Did honest. Did I? With I don't remember, but... Okay, I'll take the um, credit. <laughs> <laughs> um, I didn't put a name up here because I think it would be kind of cool to put a custom sign if we can up here. And anyone that's watched me or this series before knows that I just don't do custom signs. But this is like a little cafe. Um, so it's a little sit down slash QSR, quick service slash sit down restaurant kind of thing. Um, so if we want to put a sign up there, we totally can. So we have that. And then. Um, Around the corner, there is a restroom, which I probably should put like a restroom sign, but yeah, a restroom with a little uh, backstage entrance on the side of it. So it, I love the views of the coaster here. This oh, yeah. Nice. I was, yeah. The interaction is right? awesome. This is one of the first, when I very first built this coaster, like the actual layout and stuff, I told HP right away, I was like, this turnaround right here has to have path interaction because it is just too much of a good view to like pass up, basically. So. Um, and then, yeah, next to it, you see we kind of have like a picnic area for families or anyone that does, can't ride the ride or don't want to ride the ride and want to wait. Or, you know, they can hang out with Frank and get an arrow in the, in the yeah. head. So, <laughs> <laughs> so here we'll have, we'll see it come through here. Oh, and speaking of, before I forget, um, Mate also helped with this area. Mate did all the custom supports for uh, uh, the ride. Yeah, and he well, did a kick ass so. job with the custom supports too. Yeah. Yes. To be honest, this curve, this turnaround is not custom supported. The in-game support. I was so surprised with that. They That's work so <laughs> well on this curve. 
<laughs> but I, I, I just hate if they um, go on the wrong side of the track to support and the inverse supports do that a lot. But on yes. this turnaround, they look great. Yeah, yeah so I was good so job surprised from when I got... Right. When I got the perk back from Mate the first time, or I looked at it, I was like, how are those not custom supports? Like, they matched up perfectly with... Here, I'll show you. Like, they match up perfectly with how they're supposed to, basically. Yeah. So. And, I, and, like, I like how... Exactly, like you see the uh, the the support beam that comes down to form the A, like they they come next to right. each other, and that's how the yeah. B and M supports are really supposed to be. Yeah. So we we've talked about it. So. We're probably going to do the same thing with the with the curve drop. Eventually, we'll get oh, to it. Again, GG Frontier on that. Yeah. So. They um, do a lot of things right, so well, like but the supporting of the coasters can be done better. <laughs> it's no lie. Um, so it's no joke. Yeah. You know. eh, yeah. Sorry. That's why we have the custom yeah. support, so we can uh, we can do it how we need to. So, um, but all right. So I'm gonna walk through the queue, and I feel like I'm gonna ramble a lot because there's like a lot of little detail stuff. So if I start to just tell me to show. You want to talk about this Jeep in the tree first? Yeah. So this is. Um, so again, <laughs> thank you, Fish. By the way, because here's another <laughs> Fish <laughs> plaque. It's a very important Jeep. <laughs> Absolutely, but. So this, uh, the Jeep here is actually taken from real life. Um, I live uh, just outside Chicago in Northern Illinois, and um, I have a lot of family that live in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. So when we visit them, we take a highway, and on that highway is this, um, he owns a quarry, I'm pretty sure, and he's been featured in the shows like Mythbusters and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, this basically this quarry owner has like Jeeps in his trees that are like this, and like he has other cars that are like up in trees and like up in like um, houses and just, just crazy things with that. So yeah, I wanted to like implement that in the build here. And um, so there you go, we have our floating or held together truck out just outside the junkyard entrance. So. <laughs> There you go. It looks really good at night, too, by the way. It does, yeah. We'll go, like HBK said earlier, we'll go back through and uh, look at everything at night because we did we did lighting. What? So as we go through here. Um, yeah, there's just, like, so much crap. Like, I had so much fun doing this build. I did a lot of it on stream. Um, so I just, everyone was kind of like, oh, throw this in, throw this in. And basically every single idea was like, yeah, that's fine. Because <laughs> the, the kind of joke with this line is that it could be as crappy as they want it to get. Because why do they need to upkeep a junkyard themed line, you know? That's like, right. the more rusty it looks, the better. So, <laughs> And for the record, a lot of this stuff is props. So we don't want guests to get sick with tetanus. There you go. No, they all they have to sign a waiver before they come in and get a <laughs> shot. So <laughs> there we go. I'm trying to go quick and pace here a little bit. I love but this yeah, cover here. Lot. I love this cover, man. This was awesome. This was the top of it. Um, is actually the wild mouse support. Yes, I love it, um, man. That's that's great. Just use turned on their side. And uh, the vines oh. going over it and everything. Yeah, I wanted to make sure this place felt... Because at this point, the coaster would have built... Oh, autosave's going off. My game's lagging. There we go. Um, the coaster would have built, built probably in 94, 95. So it's probably going on, you know, 20, 25 years old. So the foliage would definitely be fully grown around yeah. here. Um, I and think, so. I also want to say, too, for those of you that love lore, this probably would have been the first attraction that Luna Parks Inc. built for the park, too. So Yes. Yep, they would have, there would have either been, I went with there was nothing here and it was just an embankment that kind of was kind of an awkward area of land. So the original park owners never shelled out the money to kind of build up the area. Um, so yeah, this was just a blank plot of land that just had to be built up a little bit. So there you go. There's just so much stuff. Oh, and then here comes a little bit more lore. So if you ever play Grand Theft Auto, the cheat code is always up, down, left, right to get it like <laughs> activated. So there's up, down, left, right. <laughs> up, up, down, down, BA start. There or, no, no, up, up, down, down, left, right, BA start. That's the Contra code. <laughs> and then as we get closer here, um, this there's a little bit other little. Uh, you see theme parks do this all the time with like numbers for like lore and stuff. So we did the same thing here. So. Um, so we have 95, this is the year that the coaster was built. And then Fisherman, this is where you helped me. Um, you said that interstates always end in fives, right? Us I think usually they do, yeah. Uh, 
Okay, so that kind of worked out well that the coaster was built in 95 and it actually makes sense for like an interstate uh, name. And then we have uh, Wrecker Way, which is a reference to the Ohio Wrecker. Um, and then we have the number 23 because Michael Jordan is the greatest athlete of all time. So go Michael Jordan. I think the people <laughs> in Ohio would probably say LeBron, but you know, whatever. <laughs> Not I, I, I don't have a, I don't have a horse in that race to be honest. I really don't care about basketball, but right, right. No, How no. about Dirk Nowitzki? Who? What? I said, how about Dirk Nowitzki? For the Dirk Nowitzki for, for the greatest basketball player of all time. <laughs> <laughs> To be honest, I don't watch enough basketball to even yeah, know. Yeah, I'm not a big basketball guy either, so. <laughs> oh, come on, guys. I know, right? So, um, but that leads up to the entrance right there. Um, but I didn't theme it because it's an interior. Yeah, and, and, and who? we don't do interiors. <laughs> but I'll just, <laughs> no. So, um, this is the fast pass queue. I'll kind of walk backwards through it real quick just so you can kind of. I want to say, I love that you tiled it custom over the path. You know, it's like. It could be argued that, that that's a... Oh, and here's this last thing before I comment on that. I think it, I thought it'd be funny to fa uh, advertise the fast lane in the fast lane. Because it's like, <laughs> hey, we know Make you already have jealous. the fast lane, but you know what you need? Some more fast lane. Well, there, there's so. nothing better than advertising the fast lane on the Ohio record queue where there is no fast pass. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, don't you wish you had this? <laughs> Um, so yeah, then here's the exit real quick, and again, this is big thanks to uh, Fisherman and HPK because they joined me in my live stream, and HP, you kind of had this idea of them basically in the exit, exiting out into like a penitentiary, basically. Yeah, because <laughs> it, 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 uh, you were trying something different, and nothing, it, not that it, it, it what just wasn't working for any of us, and we were like, well, what do yeah, we do, no. what do we do, and I was like, what about just fencing it all in? literally <laughs> encasing it <laughs> in chain link fences so yeah that's what we did <laughs> the whole area just feels so like i don't know it feels rich because there's a lot of junk and stuff but it also just feels so like barren and decrepit i don't know which it feels which kind of is what you were going for with the junkyard <laughs> yep exactly and exactly and i gotta say like because we've been kicking around this idea of Batman, but not Batman for a while, and and the reason why we kept stalling on this whole area is we just it was it just didn't wasn't coming together the way we wanted. And then me and Drew were talking one night on Discord, and it was like, well, what if we? I don't even know how it came up, but just the junkyard it was theme, just... and we were, and we that was it. And he's like, dude, I got the park, I'm doing it, and and that's yeah, how it, it was... happened. <laughs> It was just one of those, yeah, like you said, literally, like, mulling over it for months and months. Because we just had no way. Oh, and here's a flat ride, too, by the way. Um, and then, yeah, just like you said, just randomly one night, probably like a half-hour conversation, the entire story and idea just kind of finally came to fruition. So, there you go. But, yeah, no, that's the uh, that's the whole area. The last part I'll show you is the main uh, body of the coaster because we did some trenches that kind of came out really oh, yeah. cool, I think. I've never done this before, and it came out really cool, I think. So I'll show that real quick. Kind of uh, taking inspiration from Montu in uh, right, right. Bush Gardens, lots Tampa. Of, lots of good foot chopper uh, areas. In Seriously. There. Yeah, this whole... Uh, it was a lot of pausing the game and making sure people's uh, feet and <laughs> stuff weren't going to get chopped off. But safe to say, this I know it looks very tight, but it, it works. This whole area works out. So yeah. I mean, a lot of the times Literally. these inverts, especially with the Batman clones, I mean, they look just look like a, a not a pasta anyway, which is kind of cool for yeah. this. Yeah. This is my, my favorite custom supporting that you did, by the yeah. way, I thought this was a really <laughs> cool idea. But there's that, and then there's a little bit of the backstage too. Not not too much, but um, as I was looking at a lot of reference photos, I did notice a lot of these, you know, pretty much any big coaster, it kind of has its own little backstage within itself, um, it, its own little maintenance area and stuff, so that's what we have here as well, so. And uh, and it kind of meets up to uh, the, the gift shops a little bit too. Like, they wouldn't be able to transport goods and stock, but there is access. Right, right, so... 
And then there is the entire area. And you kind of see, um, I know it's a little bit hard earlier with us in Tejicam. Uh, we can see this is where Mate was building for the bulk of his stuff and then how it kind of leads into where my area was as well. So as we pull out here, you kind of see like, holy cow, like we're, we're, we're kind of getting close to being done with the American Adventure yeah. area now. <laughs> and right where we were by the, the Torque flat ride, which also fits into that theme too. If you kept walking, you'd go right to uh, Pioneer. Yep. yep. Which that's why I said. No, no, go ahead. Finish. I wanted to just talk oh. about Pioneer, but we can cover that in a minute. Okay. Um, I literally was gonna say like at the beginning, I said we kind of came in backwards, and that's literally because I worked from as if you're coming from Pioneer. I, I feel like the natural guest flow is gonna be coming over this bridge towards Ty Pioneer, and then kind of going towards um, um, the invert and all that fun stuff. So, but anyways, yeah. What were, what were you gonna say about uh, Pioneer? If you go to the lift hill, I found a oh, way to yeah. manipulate the game to get proper catwalks. Where is the lift hill? There it is. Double catwalks, people. <laughs> That's so good looking. So, uh, I think it was Variable Gaming. I was watching his stream last week or two weeks ago, and he was building... Um, the uh, Medusa coaster in Six Flags uh, Discovery Kingdom and he found out that if you build the coaster track backwards you can get the catwalk to appear on the opposite side so essentially there's two coaster tracks there one with the catwalk on the right and one with it on the left hmm. so I went and did that there yeah. and at the break run and at the final break run at the end too Nice. So, yeah, that looks and, uh, a lot better. We have a couple of uh, other coasters that will be getting the same treatment when we get to them as well. Cool. Yeah, I don't know. That's, uh, that's an awesome uh, workaround, but it'd be really cool if we had, uh, you know, just the option to put, <laughs> put catwalks and, how we wanted. And I wish we could get the option for the coaster nets, too. So if you put them oh, yeah. over, yes. like like the B and M coasters that go over paths, they've always got the nets underneath them. Right, yeah. right. Or if they just automatically formed or some shit, something like that. Either yeah. that, or you could turn it on, like you could turn on supports or the catwalks. Right. Yeah. Right. Well, Planko two. So. Planko two. <laughs> so alrighty. Well, hey, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna pop a ride on. Um, what is this ride called? Shredder. Shredder. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> we'll go, we'll um, go we'll, for a we'll ride and then we'll turn the lights out. Yeah, yeah. So, oh god, come on. There we go. You didn't miss it. No, you didn't. It's just a lift hill. So, but um, yeah, I'm pretty sure we've ridden this before. We haven't really done many track manipulations to it. Again, just mainly the um, the supports, pretty much. So, um, but you yeah, get some really cool views like... right here too. Yes, you do. I love the bridge and the. Uh, the uh, the bridge and the the sky ride. Yeah. Yep. We. <laughs> <laughs> so. But um, but yeah. So after this, we'll uh, like uh, HP said, we'll turn off the lights there, take a look at uh, everything at nighttime, um, and then uh, yeah, we'll pretty much be wrapping it up there. But uh, uh, next up is going to be. Um, Hard, poor, uh, hard Punk, you're actually going to take the uh, the park next, aren't you? Yeah, I guess so. Uh, it was Dan was going to take it, but I don't think Dan has the time to do it right now. So he uh, he actually had the park for a couple of days and, and didn't have the time to work on it. So Yeah, which no problem. That's uh, totally understandable. But um, what were you planning on uh, doing for your, uh, your build there? Well, something that we've talked about for quite a while I think I'm gonna knock out and that's given the uh, the entrance to the park and the parking lot a facelift yes yeah we have been talking about that in in uh, private here for uh, geez a long time now <laughs> so that will be a good uh, good thing to take care of there so all right let me turn the lights off here There we go. Cool, yeah, so the lighting's uh, pretty much good with it here, um, at least for the inverted area. We still gotta build up some of like the floodlights and stuff. Um, 
areas and kind of do some lighting in the back for the tall uh, inversions. But other than that, it's pretty well done. Yeah. So there's that. The Q, there. And then the Q looks really good at night. The Q does look yeah. really good at night. Yeah, we'll come down here a little bit. So we're saying the park actually gave them a little bit of a budget and look what they can do with and it. And there's one light that's broken, so <laughs> that's the, yes, <laughs> in the corner by the bathroom. <laughs> yeah, there should be one flickering. There it is. Yep, it's not. Oh, there it is. <laughs> oh, <yeah. Yep. laughs> there's always at least one bulb that's going out. <laughs> so, yeah, no, the uh, the ambiance around this area would be really cool at night. I like I like the variation in the lighting too. Like some of it's really soft and then some of it's intense. I love that. Right. You could really do good um, horror mazes in there for Halloween. In this queue area. That's yes. True. Oh, yeah. Oh, Spoopy Wood is going to be so great this year. Oh, yeah. <laughs> if we end up doing. <laughs> so, it's going to cool. be like but twice yeah, the size way. of Spoopy Wood last year. Oh, gosh. <laughs> my my computer is already starting to sweat. <laughs> so we'll go ahead and meander our way now over towards uh, Mate's build there. Take a look at the wharf at nighttime. Yeah, mate, I want you to talk about the lighting that you did because you did something really cool with your lighting. Yeah, I get down the guest view for this. I basically um, highlighted all the um, foliage I did with blue lights, so the green really comes out ni at nighttime. I yeah, love it's it. Ac it's actually a trick um, Disney does too. So if you uh, mm -hmm. have blue lightning uh, lighting underneath the foliage. It it gets more green, I guess. Right. Yeah, no, it's really cool looking over here. I love the views at nighttime, yeah. especially looking out over towards the invert and everything. Uh, this, this, oh, it's yeah. very photogenic, man. Excellent. Yeah. I think he's got some lighting on the other side of the building, too. To the yeah, right. Does he? Okay. Where the, uh, where the river is, or... Yeah. There we go. Oh yeah. That looks so good. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> so, all right. Let's go ahead. I'm gonna back all the way up here, though. I can't wait till this area is done. It's almost done, man. Through. It's almost done. It's close. Because yeah, it's close. I don't even know how much we really want to go on the outside of that path because you got to figure that's where. Uh, the post 2000s area would go the very first expansion time wise chronologically because that's where we already got the area planned out back there right yep so yeah we, we did pretty good with lighting so far I think mainly we just gotta touch on some uh, coasters especially pioneers looking pretty uh, lonely out there and not lit up <laughs> we'll get to it <laughs> so there we go cool all right well let me go ahead and turn on the lights here we can go ahead and wrap this baby up there so there we go but yeah there is your full view everyone of the park uh so far like we said the american adventure area is like we have i don't know maybe a handful of sections left basically um and then we're done we're gonna be moving on from that area finally i think we've been working on it for like half a year or something like yeah, that Yeah, most of the sections um, that we got are over here by dan's uh, log flume and we got this space in the middle to fill in here and and that's pretty much and then the american adventure is just about done yep yep so we can finally move away from that kind of americana um we'll do some more you know, modern architecture, architecture. Yeah, yep. The sides of the park, like we've been talking about, the you know the the east and west areas are going to be more uh, modern, contemporary kind of areas. So a lot more of that um, same kind of architecture we'll be following. So there you go. But um, yeah, let's go ahead and wrap up there, everyone. Um, if you've made it this far in the video and you haven't already, be sure to hit the subscribe button there so you keep up to date with all things uh, Luna Wood. Um, and yeah, for the uh, channel there, I've uh, I've been Beyond Drew TV, uh, Hard Punk Core. Once you. Uh, take us out of here as well yeah so you guys got any suggestions or comments man let's keep the let's keep the conversation going in the comments you know uh you guys see stuff you like let us know you guys see stuff you don't like let us know 
uh, yeah, you know, that's it. Hopefully, everybody's having as much fun as we are with this, because we have a we have a a ball doing it, man. This is great. <laughs> Hell yeah! And uh, it's and it's it's only gotten better with the guys that we've added. So, oh, thank, uh, you. thank you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> thank you guys for awesome. joining well, yeah. us once again. Yeah, yeah. Thanks appreciate for you us. guys. Yeah, so, thank you for inviting us. Anyway, with that, I'm HPK. Take us out of here, guys. I don't want to flap my gums no more. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Fisherman, and I'm Matrixman. And we'll see you all in the next one. Thanks so much. Take care.